Hi and welcome to Blossom Schoolhouse. Today's video is a look at how I have set up our homeschool bookcase for the new school year. I've definitely gone for a more minimal layout this year and I'm going to take you through everything that is on each shelf. This bookcase is in our main living space opposite the table and just off from our sofa. Okay, so starting at the top, we've got my mama shelf. So this holds all of my things. I've got my two folders, one of which contains printables and various worksheets that I think will be handy um, for the year. And then the other one is my personal folder. I've got some planning pages in there and curriculum and things like that. Then over here, I've got this box. This is my art supplies box. This is where I keep my watercolours and my paint brushes and things like that for when I'm creating things. I've got my watercolour paper and various supplies in here and I keep it in this box and up on the top shelf just so it's out of reach because they are my personal art supplies. And then I've just got some acrylic paints in this little basket here as well. Over here I've got some books, I've got our photo album from the school year, I've got some books that I'm currently reading and I've got some devotional type books, some memorising books, things that I want to use with the girls or have used or am currently using. I've got our children's story bible here and then these are just the grammar tales. These are brilliant, they're sort of short stories that teach the concept of different grammar, adverbs, commas, things like that. So they are all kept up here. The next shelf has curriculum and supplies. So to the left here, I've got science curriculum. We've got our science for little hearts and hands, which is like fields and flowers. So it's a very much a nature based science. We've got our safety unit from the good and the beautiful as well. And our science topic, paleontology. Next to that, I've got our history curriculum. So we've got the history book itself, which we teach from. Then the books and resources we use with it and the folder that contains the guide and their history journals. This little pot is actually to catch small stationary items that would otherwise probably get lost. Um, and when we need a rubber, we can just reach for this little pot and get one. And then this is our full replenished supply basket for the new school year. The plan is just to take the basket, put it on the table during lesson times and then put it back and it holds glue and scissors and pens, pencils, everything that we need. On the next shelf down, we've got more curriculum. On the right here, we've got everything for geography. So we've got the books that we're going to reference for geography this year, the actual curriculum, the nature journals. I've got some geography printables in this little folder here. We're actually going to be focusing mainly on the UK and Europe this year for geography. More on that later. And then we've just got an atlas and various supplies. Our letters from afar as well we've got here. And we'll use any UK slash Europe ones out there. So that's everything for geography. I am going to do a video, a full video on everything for geography very soon. And then we've just got our spelling curriculum here in this box. And also I've got some lined paper pads. I did share these in my homeschool resource hall. And I just think it's really handy just to have lots of lined paper on hand for dictation or story writing or anything like that. So that's just kept here, tucked in behind our spelling curriculum. And then on this side, we've just got our Faithopedia, which is our Bible study for this year. We're doing New Testament first and then tucked in behind or inside, should I say, are the journals that go with it that the girls will be using. So I thought if I keep them tucked in there, we can pull them out, use them, put them back on the shelf um, and just keep them all together. Then we have the fourth shelf down and on here we've got books and math manipulatives. So over here we've got our whole math basket. On the top we've got our Gather World Map mat, which we use all the time. You've probably seen it in many of my videos. We've got our Eat, Sleep, Doodle, Colouring In tablecloth world map as well. And then this is our math supplier basket, which I have again simplified for this school year. So in here, we've got our wooden 3D shapes. 
We use these a lot with the level two math and we'll be doing that again this year. I've got the base 10 items again featured in the math programs that we're using this year. So I thought they would be good to have in here and use as well. We've got some place value resources. I've got this handy flip chart here and then I've got some more place value cards. And so they are going to stay in here as well. And then we've got our learning resources clocks. These are my favourite because the hour hand moves when you move the minute hand. So the girls have got one each. Our UK play money. And we've got a gather 100 mat as well. This is great for counting, skip counting, number sense, everything. So we keep this in our math basket as well. So a lot less than we had in here before. I've actually stored the rest of our math manipulatives in our homeschool cupboard. Also behind the basket, we've got our 100 square, which is double sided. And it's also wipe clean, which is just amazing. We've used this over and over again, and I know that we'll continue to use it. Um, so that is staying out as well so that we can pull this out when we're doing math lessons, particularly for my soon to be seven year old. And then over here, we've got educational reading books, specifically for independent reading time. I've put the Cat and the Hats Learning Library here because there's just so many fun books and different topics that are covered in these books and the girls love them. And then I've got the Osborne Science and History Readers. These are like early readers as well. Perfect to pull out when you're doing a specific unit study or a topic covered in science or history. And then over here, we've got the Nat Geo Weird But True books. They're just full of loads of random facts. So these are really fun as well. And then I've just put the Nature Readers from The Good and the Beautiful here as well, because I'm sure we'll be using them a lot this year. Finally, on the bottom shelf, we've got reference books and the girls' curriculum baskets. So firstly, we've got our most used reference books. This maps book in my opinion, is the best map book for kids. And then all our different encyclopedias that we use all the time. Over here, we've got the individual curriculum baskets for the girls. This first one belongs to my youngest. And we've got in here her language arts, her math, her copy workbook, her handwriting is at the back here. And then just all the resources that go with their curriculum. So we've got their... Um, extras that go with the language arts so the reading booster cards and books and then the math box and then for my eldest she's actually got a couple of piano books in here which she's going to be starting this year for the first time so that's very exciting she's got her handwriting as well and then she's also got her language arts course and then her own copywork notebook as well and then she's got her math book down here and then just the resources that go with her language arts and math. So the booster cards, the readers that go with her language arts. And then she's got her math box for math three in here as well. So that is their curriculum baskets all filled up with new curriculum and ready to start in the new school year. Then down underneath our bookcase, I keep a paper tray. This is to store random worksheets and separate pieces of work that the girls complete before I can file them in their folders. And then I just keep this basket of magnetiles under here as well. The girls use these quite a lot, especially while I'm working with one, the other will play with these. So they are stored underneath the bookcase as well. And then I'm just storing the keyboard for my eldest down the side so that when she's got piano, she can just pull it out and use it at the table. And then next to it, we have our homeschool supply cupboard or store cupboard. And this has just got extra curriculum we're not currently using. I've got some posters on the door and then random resources and things that we pull out as and when we need them. So that's literally just next to the bookcase. So that is how I've laid out our bookcase for the coming school year. Very much simplified compared with before. Um, there really only is what we're going to be using for our main formal lessons most days most weeks um, I'm really pleased with the way that I've laid it out this year I feel like everything has its place a bit more and um, there's only things that we will actually use all the time and then extra resources and supplies are to the side in the supply cupboard I hope that you enjoyed this video I will put links in the description and as always thank you for watching